Leos are coming up with new self-discipline for their health and how they live in the moment. So in essence, Leos live in the Leos allow their moment to get hijacked by a lot of things. And I'm seeing this in a lot of Leos that I know that they're slipping into certain ruts, particularly emotional ruts that are triggered by their trust issues with themselves. Saturn in Pisces has helped you to clear the way to really trust yourself, but you may not actually trust yourself yet because it's unproven. You don't have a track record yet. And so as a result, your daily life might fall into uh, a bit of a, of a gloom. You might find yourself being gloomy or depressed or upset or, uh, or worried or afraid or over it. So the way you're living in the moment is really not conducive to success. You've got to upgrade the moment. The moment of life must be quality, a quality moment. So this quality moment is exacerbated by the full moon in cancer because this will actually emotionally illuminate your fears. So this will be a fearful full moon for the Leos this week where fears and traumas become realized excuse me, that may, all this tea, that may be from, uh, the, from the fact that, um, that you have had a near miss or something literally that you can see, or those traumas may come up in the form of a crazy dream, or the fear may come in an almost a near miss, but the full moon is illuminating where you are too fearful in life, where you lack faith in life. And if you lack faith, well, that destroys the quality of the moment and the quality to stay in the moment. I love how the sun goes out on the Leo horoscope here. Here we go. <laughs> back to the sun. Turn that sun right back on. See that as a little lesson for the Leos? If the sun goes down, you bring it right back. So I believe you will purge that fear or that lack of faith likely on the day after Christmas. And at that point, you'll be clear to really make some disciplined and some decisions for yourself to uh, change the way you live in the moment and the quality of your moment. Now, Mars and Mercury, your ego and your mind are coming together around a personal dream. And I think it's really important that Leos are dreaming right now, especially since you are learning to trust yourself. It's very important to reignite that dream. Remember why you got in the game in the first place. Remember why you fell in love in the first place and ask yourself, where do I want to go next with that love? Where do I want to go next with that dream? So the conjunction there comes together, but that energy uh, squares Neptune in Pisces, which means you have to reconcile those personal dreams with lifestyle and life changes that have to happen. You're not going to be able to change your lifestyle or get your personal dreams with the current boundary structure you have. You have to change your boundaries. And these are big picture boundaries like your work hours or your play hours or where you live or how you work or maybe even financing issues because it opposes the second house. So it might have to do with the way you pay for things or whether or not you have debts or something like that as well, because the eighth house can be our debts where the second house is our profitability. So you really have to reconcile what your dreams are with the changes you have to make for yourself. And that, in my opinion, will get you on the right track come uh, 2024. Uh, Leos are going to really pick up steam and really get their shift together, I predict. And once uh, Pluto moves into Aquarius, it's going to be a whole different day for Leos because it opposes their sign. And that is the Leo interpretation right there. It's serious joy, joy, joy.